Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and like many of you, I can't wait for the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance! It's going to be a series of episodes released later this year, set up to be a prequel of sorts, or I guess prequels, if there are several episodes that are planned, to the Dark Crystal, the movie that you likely saw much like I did when I was growing up. Maybe you still haven't seen it. At which point I would say, what is wrong with you, man? It's one of the greatest movies of all time. In fact, if it was released, according to Jim Henson's vision of The Dark Crystal, I think it would have been even more epic over time. Because in the original version that only test audiences saw, not a single word of English was spoken. So you had to figure out what was going on based upon how the puppeteering took place. Can't wait! The Dark Crystal, Age of Resistance, so excited! It's not exactly a sequel, but I'm hoping that more people are going to be excited. I'm possibly even more, more excited, not because of the new content that we're going to have from the world of Thra, but specifically because you know what's coming. <laughs> Toys and collectibles! So here's a focus collection because there aren't many of them at least as far as I know, uh, Dark Crystal figures, or THE Dark Crystal figures. I have every one of them here. Most of them are open, except for the Gartham with Kira, who happens to have wings. This was an exclusive that Funko sent, you might remember. Uh, this Gartham apparently is an exclusive that I saw yesterday. I got it on sale. And this is one that I am going to open right now. <laughs> for you. Actually, it, it is technically for me, but let me make sure... I'm opening it properly so that I don't damage the box. Wait a minute. How am I going to do this here? Okay. I was looking specifically for uh, the tape because I did not want to, uh, uh, you know, rip into this box because this tape is industrial strength, apparently. You know, this is a, a focus collection, if only because there aren't too many uh, the Dark Crystal collectibles out there. Uh, certainly not even vintage, uh, definitely not modern, but that's what I'm hoping is, is going to change. So there's the checklist. There's where you can find all the ones that you can collect. This is right around uh, $20, at least at this point in time. You never know where you're going to find something that you really want, and so you should always be prepared. Always, always, always. That's why I have plenty of gift cards. In fact, how should I do this? I'm going to put the box right there so you can see the Gartham as I continue to figure out how I'm going to pull this guy out. He's being held in by one wire. <clears throat> you know, it's, it's, it's a type of movie that I could enjoy watching indefinitely. It's just such a compelling story, uh, characters, design, the soundtrack, also rather amazing, iconic. Right? This guy's going to slide out pretty easily. Ah, if Chris remembers to remove that. There's the Gartham. Uh, so it looks like we can rotate its arms, possibly its wrists. No, not its wrists. Arms at the elbow and at the shoulder. Yes, that pivots. Uh, also, its legs can be swiveled around. Like so, I'm holding on to a Gartham. Kind of difficult to, uh, you know, see all the finer details in uh, the movie, I mean, depending on, on how you're watching it, but uh, this gives me a newfound appreciation for uh, such a puppet. Kind of scary, too. Very, very scary. Click, 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 it's a weird sound. But that's what it sounds like. That's my version of Gartham clicking. It's uh, sometimes... Uh, you know, rather amazing to know that we could still produce classics and in the sense that we could produce modern things that are reminiscent of the classics. And I appreciate that. Uh, and I'm not, I, I'm not just talking specifically about the toys, the, like the reaction figures that were specifically modeled after the prototypes that I believe Kenner was going to produce that ultimately never did. Um, but... Even with the Dark Crystal prequels, the or the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance, I have to be careful because if I throw in an extra article, it'll sound weird. Um, even that, uh, even with that, they're going to be going uh, with the older style in the newer series of mini movies shows. 
Sorry, Gartham. Let's see what you look like underneath. That's that's what a Gartham looks like underneath. Apparently. Oh, the legs swivel back and forth too. Boy, you can get him to kind of stand up on its hind prongs. What you, what like, do you hold the Gartham like? I don't know. I really genuinely don't know. Uh, but I'm saying that because you know part of enjoying the Dark Crystal more more than likely was because that was at a time in my life where I would have liked such a thing. But I'd imagine that even now, being as excited as I am, I'm just as anxious to see the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance as other fans might be. And to know that it's going to be done in the same style as the original movie makes me even happier. What would make me even happier happier was knowing that it wasn't going to be done in English. No subtitles or anything. That, that would be amazing. That would match Jim Henson's vision. I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to say, may the force be with you.